What's up everyone, it's Chell Bill here, and today I'll be reviewing Supreme's Week 1 Tees. Now I was fortunate enough to be selected for Supreme's in-store Week 1. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with Supreme's in-store, every Tuesday at 11am you have to register and then they'll tell you if you've been selected. They don't tell you what number you are in line, you just have to confirm or cancel. Once you confirm, the very next day they'll let you know your number in line and what time to arrive at the store. Now keep in mind, if you confirm and then don't show up, you will be banned from any future registrations. So just keep that in mind. Don't confirm unless you know for a fact you're gonna be there. You know, if you have to work or if something comes up, just cancel because there's always gonna be next week. Now, like I said, this was my first time ever going in store, so I had no clue what I was doing. I basically just showed up to the store. I saw that there was a line and basically you don't want to come early you want to come right at the time that your reservation is you'll see a line just get right in line there will be a guy waiting there and you show him your id and your credit card that you registered with then he confirms you so after you confirm your reservation with the guy outside you just wait in line until it's your turn to go into the store now like i said this was my first time ever in store on drop day so i was not prepared i basically walked into the store and the guy was like, do you have your list? And I'm like, what list? So apparently they want you to write down every item that you're gonna purchase because it's just such a crazy day for them. I mean, they're running around like crazy. There's all these people outside. So if you ever get selected for in-store, make sure you have your list ready. So I was scrambling to get a list ready. Like I already knew what I wanted, but it was like in my head. I thought I would be able to go in the store and like just be able to grab the things that I wanted. I didn't know like I had to show him my list and he would get the things for me. So it took me like five minutes to write down my whole list. And then I get to the cash register and I noticed like some of my items are missing. I kept a count on how many things I wanted to get just to make sure they didn't forget anything. This one tea was missing. And the guy at the register is like, oh yeah, if something sells out, you have to put your backup on there or you're not gonna get it. The guy just told me to make a list. He didn't say, oh, put up your backup colors and all that. Make a list and maybe put like three backup colorways because like say you want the black t-shirt, but it's sold out. Well, put red, put white, put backup colors because if not, they're not gonna tell you that it's sold out. You're just gonna get to the register. The item won't be there. So I had this guy running around like crazy. I mean, three of my t-shirts were missing because they didn't have the color I wanted. So I just told him, get me black or white of any color. Every time I noticed something else was missing, he had kept running back to get another tee. Then someone told me like, hey dude, there's shirts on the rack. If you see a color that you want on the rack, just grab that. So the one shirt I wanted, they didn't have it in the back apparently, but it was on the rack. So I had this guy go in the back to get me a different color and then I noticed it was on the rack. So then I grabbed it on the rack and I was like, I'm sorry, can I just pick this one? The guy was getting aggravated with me because I had him running around like crazy. I don't remember his name, but if you're watching this, I apologize for that. And I will be more prepared next time I come to in-store. Now that I told you my Supreme experience, let's get into these t-shirts. Before I show you guys the t-shirts, I just wanted to show you the free gift that came with random orders this week, which is a pack of rubber gloves. Now, some people were upset that they didn't give us a mask but I have like 10 masks, so I'm happy that they didn't give us a mask. Like I don't need any more face masks. This is something different and it's something I don't have. So it's a nice thick rubber glove that is normally designed for like cleaning. So this isn't like a doctor or nurse's glove. This is like something you would see like on a janitor or maid when they're like scrubbing things down. So and it just has that Supreme box logo and it even has some nice like trim on the red. There was also Camo Box Logo stickers that came with random orders this week, but unfortunately I didn't receive any of those. But I am happy that I was able to get the free item. So the first t-shirt we're gonna get into is one of the most popular tees of the week, and that was this photo tee of Farrah Sanders. Now I never heard of this musician, famous jazz player who plays saxophone. And honestly, even though I never heard of this guy, I still think this is a cool design. I mean, I think it's one of the better photo tees we've seen because they do a lot of photo tees and like most of the time it's people that no one's ever heard of. Instead of a guy standing there with a Supreme tee on, he's actually playing an instrument. So I think it adds like some character to it. 
And then on the back, it says Karma, which is the name of one of his albums. So this is one of the most popular tees. I just went with the black color because I figured you can't go wrong. So that's the first tee we're gonna look at. It's pretty solid. The next tee we're gonna look at is the Verify tee. This is basically a troll on all manual users because you try to order online and you always get these captures. And sometimes you get them wrong and it thinks like you're a robot. It's ridiculous. So this was definitely a troll on Supreme Spark. But the cool thing is it says, select all images with Supreme. Click verify once there are none left. So you'll see there's like three images with Supreme. I thought that was like a really cool detail of the shirt. Purple is different and purple always does good with Supreme. Not every t-shirt has purple. So whenever there is a purple color of a tee, it normally does well. The next t-shirt I'm gonna show you guys is this Futura t-shirt. Now, for those of you who don't know who Futura is, he's a famous graffiti artist from New York. I went with the gray colorway because I just love that purple Supreme spell out. And this is actually Futura's signature font that he uses. And on the back, it just says justice for all. The other two tees I showed you, the Pharaoh Sanders and Verify tee, they were the most hyped tees of the week. But I honestly think that this tee is better than both of them. I just love that purple writing. The next tee we're going to take a look at is the Balloons tee. Now this one just says Supreme and Balloons. And then it says Established 1994. I think this is a really cool shirt too. I mean, I just love the pop of color on this black. I'm not someone who only likes black tees. But I think some shirts look best in black tees and i think this is one of them because of that pop of color next tee we're going to look at is actually my favorite tee out of this whole collection is this jet tee i just love the detail on this and then it's just like a burning fighter jet tee they actually did skateboards as well and all three skateboards were a different plane like there was a black skateboard a blue skateboard and a red skateboard and every skateboard at a different plane so i kind of wish they did that with the t but i still really like this t-shirt like i said it's one of my favorite tees and this is one of the most downvoted tees this week this is definitely staying in my personal collection i can't wait to wear it next tee we got is this nuova tee now it's just all over pink and then it's green and red and at first i was wondering like why would they put green with pink that's just a weird combination but then i realized it actually says new york United States in Italian. So that's why it's Italian colors. I went with pink because it's just like purple. It's one of those colors Supreme doesn't always do. And it's always a popular choice because it's just different, you know? Like Supreme always does black, white, and red tees. So I don't get excited. I know like everybody loves the black tees, but I kind of get sick of them. Like how many black t-shirts can you need? Like you want to switch it up and get different colors. So I kind of like this shirt. I think this was like a sleeper in the pink colorway anyway. I wasn't a fan of any of the other colors, but I did like this pink colorway. The last t-shirt I'm going to show you guys is a t-shirt I actually already wore. I wore it the first day I got it. So if you want to check out my fit, go to my Instagram at C to see this shirt. But it's the lover's tee, and this is another sleeper in my opinion. The jet tee and lover tee were my two favorite tees to drop this week. I don't necessarily like the most hype stuff. I like the low-key stuff that's just different and unique i know like i've noticed a lot of people they love like that huge supreme branding where it just has supreme slapped on it but like i just like when it's like a unique design and i just love like how it's got this little cupid statue and it says for lovers i mean i am a lover not a fighter so this shirt goes perfect with me and i just chose the white colorway because i just like how the pink pops on the white but that's all i got for you guys today let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.